Hey everyone, welcome back to Explainer. Today, we've got a question that's puzzled many sports enthusiasts. Why do some people call football soccer? Well, today we're going to dive into the fascinating history and reasons behind this naming conundrum. So let's get started. To understand why the beautiful game is known by different names around the world, we need to go back in time. The roots of modern football can be traced to England in the 19th century. In the early days, there was no standardized set of rules for the sport. People played a variety of football-like games with their own local rules. It wasn't until 1863 that the Football Association in England established a single set of rules. And guess what? The game we know as soccer today was born. Now let's talk about the name soccer. The term soccer actually has its origins in England. It comes from the word association, as in football association. Back then, to distinguish between different forms of football, they added the er suffix to create ASIC football. Over time, this was shortened to soccer. But here's where it gets interesting. While soccer was catching on in England, other countries were developing their own versions of football. In most of the world, the term football was adopted to describe the sport. This includes countries like Brazil, Germany, and Argentina. Now, let's talk about the United States. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, various forms of football were being played in America. One of them, similar to rugby, was called football. To avoid confusion, people in the United States started calling the sport we know as soccer today by its other name. So, in the United States, soccer became the preferred term, while football evolved into American football. This is one of the main reasons why Americans call it soccer. Fast forward to today, and you'll find that the naming divide is still very much alive. But it's not just about history, it's also about culture and tradition. In England, where the term soccer was born, they've largely moved on to calling it football exclusively. It's deeply ingrained in their culture and football is what comes naturally. On the other hand, in the United States and Canada, soccer is the commonly used term. It's what's been passed down through generations. But no matter what you call it, the sport itself remains a global phenomenon. It's a language that transcends borders, a passion that unites people from all walks of life. So whether you're a fan of football, soccer, or both, Remember that the love for the game is what truly matters. Names might change, but the thrill of a last-minute goal or a jaw-dropping save remains the same. And that's the story of why some people call football soccer. It's a tale of history, tradition, and cultural differences, all wrapped up in a beautiful game that brings people together. Thanks for joining us today on Explainer. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more fascinating content, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, keep enjoying the world's most popular sport, no matter what you call it. Cheers.